Hi, Roxy. Good morning. Hi. Sorry, good morning. Jesse, good morning. Hi, Emily. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Nati. How are you, sweetie? Very well. Thank great. you. It's great. That's good amazing. morning, teacher. Good morning, Jesse. How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And you? How do you feel? Are you okay? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Emily, good morning. Good morning. Emily, um, uh, you, your partner is Eric for today, right? And he talked to me. Uh, you're going to pass tomorrow with the exam, all right? Because, yeah. yes, I think uh, he had something to do at the university. So you have permission to pass tomorrow, okay? Okay. Uh, no, mañana no podría. Usted no puede mañana. No, es que mañana tengo un Vaya, si quiere, entonces hagamos algo. Vamos a escoger algún compañerito suyo que pueda, eh, digamos, eh, hacerle un, un par de preguntas vea, de, de la lista que tenemos. Y, y pues como la nota es individual, yo usted la voy a evaluar ahora. Y mañana pues tranquila, ¿verdad? Por si no puede abrir el micrófono, Ay, lo hacemos. Okay. Bueno, uh -huh, no worries. Okay. Hey, Oscar, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you, teacher? I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you, Oscar? Are you okay? Yep. Um, nice. Very, very nice. Very nice, that's amazing. How is your daughter? I'm sorry, the, the yeah. question. Uh, how is your daughter? Is she okay? Your baby, is she okay? Yes. Great, that's amazing. Okay, so people, uh, let's start with the class today. Did everybody took, uh, I'm sorry, did everybody take the test yesterday? The exam? Yes. yes. Okay. Comments about the exam. Was the exam super difficult? Un poco para mí. A little bit. Okay. Nice. So what do you consider was the most difficult part? Yo creo que la primera parte. The first part. Sí, sí. Y alguien más me dijo que esa parte la habían sentido un poco confusa. Entonces, let's practice today. Don't worry. Me, pero, teacher, eh, bueno. hay, que hay que enfocarse bien en la pregunta en sí, ¿verdad? Es eso correcto. eso pero... lo compró el día de ayer. <ríe> Por eso les decía que a veces uno de, de los nervios, vea, uno quiere abar abarcar todo y, y descuida detalles chiquitos y esa es la respuesta. So, a, 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 mí, a mí, como él comentaba, me, me pasó ayer de que iba por la nueve. Se me ah. había acostado y no sé qué puché en, en el teclado que se me... Todo se me borró. No, o le tocó volver a llenar. Y me tocó y dije, ay, no lo tomé ni, ni captura ni nada. O sea, porque siempre lo hago, ¿verdad? Por es cualquier verdad. cosa. Pero bien. Fue doble sí. práctica, ¿verdad? Sí, no. <risa> Vaya, chévere. Chicos, para una consulta, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? Hay un par de ustedes que ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Ya, ya todo. Eh, ahí únicamente nos quedaría pendiente el examen de la unidad 5, que lo último ya que, ¿verdad? Que tendríamos que hacer. Pero si ¿sí pueden ir avanzando, porfa, porque... Ya no... solo eso, Ticha. Ya solo ese, ¿verdad? Es el sí. examen de la unidad 5 tengo pendiente. Muy bien. A mí, yo llevo 94%. Sí, ayer estaba viendo los avances. Vaya, súper bien. Está fácil de avanzar, por si alguno siente que va un poquito atrás, atr ¿verdad? Está fácil de ponerse al día, no se preocupen. Good morning, Meli. Um, ayer estaba revisando, bueno, actualizando ya eh, los cuadros de nota. Y ya les voy a mandar un listado de las personas que deben algunas tareas para que me las puedan mandar. Vean, no hay problema. Pueda que de repente entre tanta cosa uno se eleva, porque de algunos tengo un video de, de los eh, this, that, dicen those, pero les falta el siguiente y así vea. Entonces les voy a mandar un listado de, de cómo vamos con eso para que se puedan poner todos al día. ¿verdad? Recuerden que la plataforma es otra nota. Ahora tenemos el examen One Oral Test y ya solo nos quedaría de las exam. ¿Verdad que? Pues creería yo que lo pueden tomar el fin de semana. Así que 
Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta de, de, de todo esto. ¿verdad? Yo tengo que compartirles las notas, ¿verdad? Y creo que Gisela les escribió que les iba a mandar su avance en Zoom. Pero eh, nosotros terminamos hasta el lunes. Hasta el lunes terminamos porque, pues, ¿verdad? Estamos reponiendo tres días, ¿verdad? Dos días que, que, no sé, por alguna razón no tengo la grabación de Zoom y, y un día que sí faltamos porque yo no tenía energía. Entonces, no sé si tienen una duda, chicos, antes de comenzar con la clase. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Jordi. Welcome. Ajá. Good morning. Este, dos cosas. Dígame, dígame. La primera, fíjense de que comparando el, el cuadro que había enviado la licenciada con de la asiste, del progreso, uh -huh. de la asistencia, uh -huh. con el que usted había, había enviado, bueno, con el último que usted envió, uh -huh. como que no no pegaban mucho. Ah, ok. Entonces me quedé con esa duda. Ah, muy bien. Me quedé con esa duda. Y dos, uh -huh. eh, los que no pudimos contactar con la compañera, no hay ningún problema. No, no, tranquilo. De hecho, se los mandé solo para que estuvieran preparados, pero eso es como que más, vaya, lo hacemos así, vea, ya, aunque no estén listos, no se preocupen. Vaya, eh, con la primera, acuérdense que el que les mandó la licenciada Giselle, eh, ese está un poquito de la semana, creo que fue hace como una semana y media más o menos, y ya el que les mandé yo ya es el de, el de esta vez, ¿verdad? Ya hasta ayer, hasta la asistencia de ayer. Entonces, la Georgie, referente a su pregunta, ¿le sale más en el que yo le envié o, o hay algún, mucha diferencia con el que le mandó la, la Lic Giselle? No hay diferencia con el que ella envió. O sea, diferencias, de, pero que ella tiene más minutos de conexión o le salían menos. Eh, sí, sí, ella tenía 63. Entonces sí. me quedé con esa duda. Vaya, vale, ya vamos a revisar porque, porque vea, no vaya a ser de que ahí haya algún errorcito de, de dedo de cálculo, pero, pero sí, vea. Ya lo vamos a verificar y, y no tienen todavía pues el, el 90 o 98, 90 o 100% porque faltan tres clases, hay que lo tengan en cuenta. ¿ver? Así que, eh, bueno, estamos con eso. Yo ya les voy a, vamos a revisar si quiere su caso eh, después, yo ya cuando terminemos la clase y si alguien más pues se quedó con esa duda, revisamos el cuadro. ¿no? Oye, va, eso es referente sí, a la asistencia. La duda porque con el que usted envió me parece 55. Le sale menos. Ah, ok, ok, vale. Eh, hay que ver también, ¿verdad? Si hemos faltado algún otro día, porque acuérdense que, que vea, no, no debería de disminuir, pero tampoco aumentaría. Entonces ya vamos a revisar hoy qué pasó. Vaya, eso en cuanto a la asistencia, pues lo, las notas. Today we have the oral exam. Eh, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much about the class, guys. Ok. And we're going to start with a class. As I told you, we have to finish this unit with simple present. So we need to have a review about simple present. And then we're going to start with our oral evaluation. Um, let me share the screen. Okay. So review, because we already know what is simple present. Okay, people, in which moment of your life you have to use simple present? What is simple present? If I ask you for a definition, what is that? Simple present used when talking about the routine. Exactly. Simple present is used when we are talking about routines. Okay. Another situation where simple present can be used? Habit. Habit. For habits. For habits. Okay. Uh, also, I guess, Lore, she sent an information to the group. And it's also used with general truth. What is the meaning of general truth? Something that is always the same. For example, if you guys tell me, if you guys tell me, El Salvador is dangerous. It's a general truth. But now it's different, right? Another situation. Or if you if you guys say um, Spanish is more difficult than English, could be a general truth, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the uses of simple persons. Okay, uh, now, This is a review only. Uh, somebody's asking in the group. Yes, uh, the, the, the partner you have, it's the one that you have to practice with. So you are with me, Angie, I guess. I'm your partner. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, simple present, one more time. And I think everybody's clear that we have affirmative, we have negative, we have an auxiliary, what is the structure, etc. 
But if you guys have questions about affirmative sentences, what is the order? You can ask me. Don't worry. If you guys say, I, I don't understand why the S in this column, you can ask me. Don't worry. Okay. Is that part clear for you guys? Yeah. When do we have to add the S, ES, IES? Why is she here? I'm sorry. A mí eso es lo que me cuesta un poquito, ah, saber okay. cuándo me voy a poner esas letras. Okay, good question. Okay, nice. So listen, uh, let's try to, number one, we need to identify what, what is the third person in H, right? And remember, we, we always say she, he, or it, but we can re change that he, she, or it by a proper name. For example, imagine if I say uh, William, William, a uh, works at the performance. Okay, nice. Why is necessary to add the letter S in this case, Nati? Nati Sarai? Que está hablando de él. Exactly. So in English we say, because we are talking about mm, the he. He, there you go. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, but what happened if I am talking about plural people? If I say uh, Alejandra and Lorena, okay, uh, eat pizza. Question, is it necessary to add the letter S in that case? Yes or no? No. 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 Why not? Because he's... Because it's plural. And when we have plural nouns, the letter S is not necessary. So we need to remember that the S is not for pluralizing. The S identifies the third person. And the third person in English, he, she, or it. All the time. Okay? Now, what happens when the verbs finish in X, CH, SH, SS, or... Yeah, those are the most common or O. Okay, for example, if I have fixed, okay, I can say I fix my laptop. Okay, Oscar, if I want to use this example for he or for she, what is the, the correct one? Um, he, he? Okay, mm -hmm. he. Mm -hmm. he, fi he fixes? He fixes? Uh -huh. My laptop. Okay. In that case, imagine laptop. Imagine I have a problem with my laptop and uh, William fixes my laptop, my laptop. But if William fixes his own laptop, we need to play with this, right? So you don't say he fixes my, he fixes his. That depends on the real situation, okay? Nice. Is this example incorrect? No. But that is a different situation. It's like William is my technician and he fixes my laptop. Okay, nice. So just to follow the, the same pattern, let's say his. Okay, thank you. Very good, Oscar. Uh, Nati Torrento. If I have the verb watch, you know, in the third person, uh, for example, I can say you watch TV. Okay, but if I want to say Alejandra, Lo siento, teacher, acabo de entrar. No sé qué está. <laughs> don't worry. We are practicing about the third person singular. It's okay. Don't worry. So maybe, Jesse, Jesse, if I want to say Alejandra mm -hmm, TV, what is the correct form? Perdón. Don't worry. Uh, mm -hmm. I watch. I, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I watch TV. You watch TV. But if I am talking about Alejandra. Watches. Uh, watches. She watches TV. Okay. Third person. Third person. Exactly. Person. exactly. Okay. She, she, it, verdad? He, she, and it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there you go. Sometimes it's confusing when you have a proper a, a proper name here. Yeah. But remember, we can replace. Replace. Now, what happens if I say um, Alejandra's? Look at this. Alejandra's friends. Okay, uh, you're gonna say watch or watches. 
Mm -hmm. watch, 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 watch TV, exactly. And you say, hey, Wanda, but it says Alejandra. Yes, but I'm not talking about Alejandra. I'm talking about Alejandra's friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it better now? Don't worry, guys. Simple present, it's really complex. And even though it looks easy, sometimes you can like, mm, I'm not sure if it is a uh, third person or not, but it's just with practice. Okay, good job. Okay, another situation, people. Um, imagine the verb is go, okay? So I can say, we go to the church. Okay, William, in the third person, let's imagine you say Eric. Mm -hmm. oh, come on. <laughs> Me, no, me that means... <laughs> no, relax, relax. The verb is go, okay? Go. So if I say I, you, we, and they, we go. For example, we go to the church. But in the third person? Go to. Aha. Uh -huh. Go Eric goes to the church. To the church. Pronunciation goes. Okay, so that is the moment when you have to modify the verb, okay? Remember, this is not difficult, it's just to memorize the rules, okay? Uh, what is the other one? For example, if I have a, a team uh, wash, okay? I can say a, you wash the car, okay? But if I want to say Oscar, what is the correct form? Oscar, Oscar washes the car. Washes the car. Okay. Because Wanda says mm, it's the grammar. We need to respect the grammar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one more time. Yes is not for plural. Yes is for a third person singular. Okay. Any other question? If you have any other question, don't worry. You can ask me. <clears throat> okay. This is in affirmatives, okay? What happens if it is a question? Ah, okay, so let's move on. Now let's move on to negatives. We have negatives, remember? Uh, in negatives, the auxiliary is mandatory. So it's not possible to say, I know, I know like pupusas, because people are gonna look like, what? Uh, repeat, I'm sorry. So what is the auxiliary people for I, for you, for we and they? Don't. We don't. don't. We don't. Okay, so what happened? Look, they, it's a group of people. I am not included, but it's a group of people, okay? For example, if I have this, imagine, I have this in affirmative and I say, okay, they, they uh, work together. Okay, what is the negative form? They don't, they work. don't work together. They don't work together. Okay, nice. Next. Imagine people, I have, I uh, listen to uh, romantic music. Okay, what is the negative of that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to romantic music. music. Exactly, simple as that. So it's not difficult, right? It's just to, ah, okay, it's I, we use don't. Is you, we use don't. Is they, we use don't. So we need to conjugate, that is the point. Conjugate the subject and the auxiliary plus the verb, okay? Now, if we have she, he, or it, what is the difference? What is the auxiliary? Tercera persona, it doesn't. Third, uh -huh. it Third person is doesn't. Person, person. No worries, doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so if I have something like, um, uh, let's see, I watch horror. <laughs> movies okay if i want to talk about a uh, jesse i i say jesse mm -hmm. doesn't watch doesn't watch, watch. Mm -hmm. watches no no okay, okay perfect why the verb not change ah uh, the verb doesn't doesn't change when you have the auxiliary perfect so <clears throat> watches a uh, horror movie Okay, questions at the moment? Let's practice some other examples. Imagine people, you say, uh, my cat, okay, 
uh, sleeps too much. Okay. What happens if it is negative? My cat, my cat, cat doesn't, doesn't sleep too, too much. Too much. Okay. Simple as that. So, auxiliary and verb. Okay. Auxiliary and verb, but the verb is normal. Doesn't change. Somebody of you mentioned so perfect. Questions about this, guys, about negatives? Don't worry if you say, Ay, ya lo dijo, me da pena. It's okay. No problem. You can ask me. It's fine. Okay. No questions? Now, let's move on to questions. Okay. In questions, what is the difference, guys? What is the difference between the order, in, between a question and a sentence? The auxiliary is first. The auxiliary is first. Exactly. So what is the order? Auxiliary, subject, verb, and question mark. Forever. Okay. Okay, what about in the third person? The same. We have auxiliary, subject, uh, the verb in the base form, and the question mark. And that's it. Okay. For example, let's create questions. Those are simple questions, right? Uh, people, is it okay if I ask you, you like pupusas? Is that the correct structure of a question? No. No, no, no. no. it's not like, correct. Do you like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Simple. And you say, Wanda, pero le estoy poniendo the question mark. Yeah, but it's not okay. Simple, okay. Next situation, people. Is it okay if I say she eh, dances salsa music? Is that okay? No. 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 What is the correct question for him? She, she dances salsa music. Salsa music. Does she dance salsa music? Eh, dances one. Da Nah, because you have the auxiliary, it's not necessary. Okay. Next situation, people. Is it okay if I say, uh, do she watch movies horror? Is that okay? Does no. She, no? What is the correct mm -hmm. form? That. Does she watch, watch it movie horror? Movie horror is okay? Horror movies. Horror, 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 horror movies. movies. And why? Mm. Why? Why horror movies? It's okay and not movies horror. Classification fears. Exactly. Hey, good memory. If we have two nouns, uh, the classific the specific category first, and then the general. So we never say music pop. We say pop music. We never say show show TV. We say TV or yeah, TV programs or TV shows. Excellent, good memory. People, do you have questions about question structure at the moment? No. Yes. In the exam, the questions were simple, very simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see one more practice, people. What happens if the question um, requires WH words? What are the WH words in English? When. When. Mm -hmm. Where. Where. Who. Why. Who. Mm -hmm. Who. Where. Who. Who. Where. Mm -hmm. What. What. More. How much. How much. Mm -hmm. How many. How many? Mm -hmm. How long? Mm -hmm. parece long How long? Uh -huh. How often? What time? What time? Mm -hmm. What is the other? What time? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What time? Which? Etc. Okay. Different questions we can create. <clears throat> For example, can you ask me a question using when? Like, when do you... 
When is your birthday? Ah, the verb to be. When is your birthday? Good question. The verb to be. Exactly, because you're asking me about my um, personal information about my birthday. So when is? Excellent job. People, how can we create a question using where do? Or where, where do you do? live? Ah, where do you live? Where, where do, do you study? Where do you study? Another? Where are you from? Where are you from? Ah, okay. So that is going to be with the verb to be, and it's okay. Where are you from? Excellent. Okay. People, one question using why. Why, why do you hate your job? English? Why study do you, English? Why do you study English? Good. Okay. Why do you cry? Repeat. Why do you cry? I couldn't listen. I'm sorry. Repeat that, please. Why do you cry? Ah, excellent. Why do you cry? Okay. And people, something essential. When we use the question why, what is the, the common and general response we say? Because. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So you say, why do you cry? I cry because my baby is sick, for example. Why do you study English? Ah. What is a possible response, Oscar? Why do you study English? In your personal case? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. I was asking in your personal situation, why do because... you study English? Uh -huh. Tendría que ser como ah, because, be, uh, be, world, uh, algo así como para, lo que tenemos que decir es como el por qué. Exactly. Uh -huh. because, so, because you student English, uh, el complemento. For, for, for Josh. Ah, ok, ok. Oscar's answer says, oh, I study English because I need a job, for example. Because yes. uh -huh, I need a job, a new job. Yeah, new job. Ok. Okay, el pan, right? <laughs> Good Sorry. Job. No, it's okay. So let's see, who people? In, in which moment we use who? Who? Mm -hmm. Cuando preguntamos quién. Exactly, it's for people, specifically for people. For example, hey, I don't speak English. How do you say, y con quien vivís? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? I wonder, who do you live with? Uh, I live with my husband and my baby, for example. Okay. I don't speak English, guys. How do you say, y con quien estudia? Who do you study with? Study with. with. Is necessary with in this context? Yes, because the question is, con quien, right? Who do you study with? And Alejandra says, oh, I study with William. Oscar say, I study with my family. Uh, Yesenia say, I study with my husband. Depending, right? People, what? What is the context to use what? The more common, what your name? Ah, the most common question, uh -huh. what is your name? Perfect. The verb to be, what is your name? Okay. Now, one question using do people, that is about things. You can ask about things. You can ask about uh, objects, for example. So we can say, uh, what do he, uh, what do, does he, let's say, what does he, uh-huh. What does he do? What does he do? Super good. What does he do? And you say, ah, he uh, works at a call center for a living, for example. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, uh, what do you, send me a compliment. Feel? Feel, feel the feelings, like your emotions. Yes. Mm, in that case, I guess it's better to say, uh, how do you feel? Vamos a poner aquí. How do you feel? Because mm. it's about your feelings. Uh -huh. um, in what that do you think? What do you think? Okay, what do you think? Imagine about the class. So, hey, what do you think about the class? And could, mm, I think the class is easy. I think the class is difficult. I think the class is confused. That is for asking about general situations, okay? 
about, okay, how much people? Do you remember the use of how much? How much? How much? In which moment we use how much? How much does you drink? How much oh, water? Yeah. Uh -huh. How much? Uh, okay. Sorry, sir. How much green? Uh -huh. How much green? How much green? How much wine do you drink? Do you, do you drink? Okay, okay. How much in the weekend? In the week. <laughs> mm, you drink wine. Okay. You know what is wine, people? Red wine? Mm -hmm. It's elegant beverage similar to uh -huh. ah, you are an expert okay how much no. wine <laughs> do you drink in the week how much is for non-contables excellent and then somebody says hey how much water how much money okay non-contable things okay perfect people how many <clears throat> how many Mm -hmm. brother and sister do you have excellent and how do we say brother and sisters together people siblings how many siblings do you have exactly it's countable excellent people what kind of can you tell me a compliment vegetables ah. or music do you like exactly what kind of vegetable that's a good example vegetables do you like classifications and you say oh i like potatoes tomatoes carrots etc okay which but, hmm? but but i say what kind of vegetable do you like to eat ah yes it's possible perfect do you like is super general do you like to eat more specific mm -hmm. good okay people which in which moment we use which Remember when which, we have options. Which uh -huh. do you which shoes? Which shoes do you shoes? Like orange juice? No, shoes. Ah shoes, I'm sorry. Uh, which <laughs> shoes? Mm -hmm. Do you use? <laughs> Do you wear, wear, uh -huh, wear, wear, wear? Uh -huh. Remember when you have clothing, shoes, pants is wear. Which shoes do you wear? And then you can give me the options. The, the Converse or the Nike image. Okay. And how do you feel? That's a really nice question. How it's about, how are you? You know, how do you feel? How do you say, etc. WH words. Ok, de estas les mandé un montón de preguntitas y yo sé pues, que ustedes pueden crear también diferentes questions. So, good job. Eh, let's move on to simple present reading practice. Reading, reading. Ok. So, I, need, I will choose some volunteers. Maybe, Evelyn, can you read the first part? So, those are the questions. Who is he? Where is he? What does he do? Ok, Evelyn, the first paragraph, please. And Hank is a cowboy. Mm -hmm. He lives warm. He has a horse named Ginger. How love gingers. He rides ginger every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they walk slowly and sometimes they run fast. They always have a good time. Amazing. Okay, nice. Paragraph number two. Uh, Emily, can you continue, please? Ginger? Maybe Mayra, Mayra, let's go. Ginger. Ginger is hands. Horse, mm -hmm. she's light bro. Hair's tight. And men, money. Tight. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. money are thick. Mm -hmm. Bro. She's three years old. She lie in the stall by the host. Mm -hmm. So let's make some a uh, pronunciation here. How how do you pronounce the color, people? 
brown. 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 Uh -huh. brown. It's not brown, it's brown. Okay. How do you guys say cola in English? Hey. Tail. Hey. Remember yeah. ponytail. Uh -huh. ponytail. People, in that case, mane, it's like oh. the hair. For example, lions. Lions have mane. Horses have mane. Ese pelito que le guinda a los animales, la melena, it's mane. Okay. Main, uh -huh. are dark and brown. Okay, uh, three years old. Oh, pronunciation, people. How do you pronounce this one? Leaves. Leaves, leaves. exactly. Leaves. Remember, leaves. I live in Soyapango. She lives in Soyapango. Leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Stable. Stable is a house specifically for horses, right? Okay, perfect. So let's see. Uh, maybe Roxana, Ginger. The ginger white for hand mm -hmm. every morning. Mm -hmm. She enjoys enjoy mm -hmm. their time to together together mm -hmm. often can give us her apple. Apples, uh, apples, apples. Apples. Mm -hmm. apples, afternoon free, free right, apples. right, mm -hmm. um, help white wash and um, brushes, ginger, mm -hmm. he usually, he usually brushes, he usually brushes her tie, mm -hmm. Then he gives her food. Gives her food. In fresh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. in fresh water. In your low hand. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's practice some difficult words, everybody. How do we say this one? Enjoy. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one, people? Together. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, gives, and uh, you know, is in the third person. Apples. Okay. How do we say this verb, people? Right. Right. And what is the difference between ride and drive? Money hard is drive. Exactly. So you can drive a car, but a horse, you ride it. Right. Teacher. Yes. Uh, pronunciation. Often or often? Good question. Often. How often? The pronunciation is often. Mm -hmm. What is it? Let me see. I don't see it. Uh, ah, get it time together often. Thank you. Often. Uh -huh. Good. Really good. Okay. Uh, brushes the tail, right? <clears throat> Usually. Then he gives her food and fresh water. Okay. Usually represents an activity with repeat and repeat and repeat. Okay. Always. Now, listen, I want you to pay attention to these words. Always, often, usually. Mm. You know what are they? You know the name of that specific words in English? Sometimes. They're very common. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat. Sometimes, a veces. Sometimes means a veces, exactly. And if we want to give a name to sometimes, always, never, usually, in English, what classification do they have? Okay, verbs, adverbs, adjectives. Adverbs. Ah, okay. So let's check what kind of adverbs. But now, first, <clears throat> let's answer. Frequency. I'm sorry? Frequency. Frequency adverbs. There you go. Okay, excellent. So, every day no entra allí. Ah, good question. Every day. Let's see. Every day. Every morning, for example. Every day. What is every day? Every day. Oh. Aha, thank you. They are not frequency adverbs, but frequency expressions. That's a really good question. The difference between an adverb and an expression goes to the position. So let me share something, some information with you. Let me see. Good question. Mm, hold on. Stop sharing. Okay, uh, let me share again. So 
Okay. But before the, the grammar, I want you to tell me the questions. Let's answer. Answer the following questions. You simple present people. Where does Hank live? Do you remember? In farm. Mm, okay. So the answer, he lives. He lives. On a farm. He lives on the farm. Excellent. What does he do every day? What activities does he do every day? <clears throat> he rides ginger. He rides ginger every day. Okay, that's the activity, right? Next question. Who is ginger? Ginger is horse. Ginger horse. is a horse. It's specifically Hank's horse, the possessive. Okay. Excellent. Okay, where does Ginger live, people? In this ta is tower. Stable, exactly. Stable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She lives in the stable. Observe. He's the house. Hmm? He's, He's the, the house. house. Exactly. One question, people. Hey, pero cuando usted dijo que para animales era it, ¿y por qué le está poniendo she? What? Is that possible? Eh... Oscar said it, the horse uh, tiene un nombre, el caballo. It has a name. Okay, excellent. Another possibility because he's considered a uh -huh. family. Exactly. Both are okay. When we have animals in our houses, we know they are part of the family. So it can be included like he or she, just when in these situations, right? Or when you know the sex of the animal. But imagine if you see a dog on the street and you don't know if it is a boy or a girl, female or male, you say, oh, it is a dog. No sé su clasific, no sé qué es, no es ni mío, so it is a dog. But what happens if you have dogs in your houses? In this case, Ginger is a part of the family, so good. Excellent. Is possible? Yes. If you see it, it's possible. Hey, good. So let's see. Next, people. Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. What does Hank often give Ginger? Let's see. What is the food? Apples. 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 Okay. So he often gives apples. And next question, what does Hank do after long rides? Mm -hmm. Let's take a, look, take a look about this. Washes and brushes ginger. Oh, washes, yes, and brushes ginger. Okay, amazing. What specific part? Usually brushes. Tail. Her tail. Okay. Um, easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, easy peasy. Questions about vocabulary, people? New words that you don't know here? Sería correcto responder her tail. Her tail. It's okay. One more time. Remember, it's talking that a hunk, brushes, gingers, tail. Mm -hmm. This hair, it's about ginger. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Cuando tenemos una pregunta que lleve do en dos, no es necesario responder con do o dos, o sea, mm -hmm. usarlo para la respuesta. Good question, exactly. Porque lleva do, si lleva do, pero me da pena. Ajá, so, if you have a question with do or does, in the answer, is necessary the auxiliary? No. The auxiliary is necessary only for the questions, you know, questions and negatives. Mm -hmm. If the answer or the response is positive, the auxiliary, not necessary. But you need to focus on the rules about the third person. Mm -hmm. Great, great questions. Great, mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, now frequency adverbs. Eh, y con esto vamos a, a terminar para poder comenzar eh, las evaluaciones. Si alguien no tiene a su pareja aquí ahorita, vea, 
let me know. I make it, no problem. So frequency adverbs, people. What is the function of a frequency adverb? They tell us how often an activity is repeated. Okay. For example, number one, what is the pronunciation of this one, guys? Always. Always. And always is 100%. Forever. Always. Okay. And the example, please. I am always without a stick of the clock. Mm -hmm. I always wake up at six o'clock. Uh, yes, Lorena is here. I checked the chat. It's just you. I always, people, is necessary? I am always? No. No, because the verb is wake up, right? I always wake up. Number two, what is the second frequency adverb? Usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. And if you check the percentage, always is 100%. Usually is 90%. So the example, Lore, please, I usually. I usually come home after work. Okay, nice. It's like most of the time. I usually come home um, after work. Excellent. Is necessary the yes? No, Wanda, because it's I, right? Okay. Let's see, uh, Nati Torrento. Normally or generally, the percentage is 80%. The example, please. Can <clears throat> um, I repeat, please? Mm -hmm. No problem. Can you read the example about generally, I normally? Only, only read. I normally, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I normally... Uh, is going swim after school exactly so if you check that the, the percentage is not always but it's normal for me to do the activity okay uh, what is the other frequency adverb nati sarai often a friend frequently mm -hmm. Frequently. Exactly. <laughs> often and frequently. And the percentage of often and frequently people? 70%. So it's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, kind of, mm -hmm. right? So Nati, can you continue? I often? I often spend Christmas with my friends. Okay. It's common, but it's not always. It's like maybe one day I go to my mother's house or every other day I visit my father-in-law, depending. So yeah, often it's like this one. Sometimes, okay. Emily, can you read sometimes? The percentage is 50. What is the example? <clears throat> or Evelyn, maybe? I sometimes play. Algunas <laughs> Let's see, continue, Evelyn, and then we're going to give another chance. Uh -huh. I, something, I, I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Okay, sometimes it's in the middle. Mm. Can you guys tell me, let me check one by one. Uh, Emily, are you here, sweetie? Okay, uh, Roxy, can you tell me one activity that you sometimes do? I occasionally. Uh -huh. Mama, me, Mama. It's okay. I, I relax. I sometimes. Uh -huh. I sometimes play tennis on the quick. <clears throat> okay, that's that's the, the example. Good. So Alejandra, let's see Melissa, Meli, Alejandra. Can you tell me uh, an example about you? Something that you sometimes do. Meli. Are you here? Oh, sí. Déjeme pensar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I sometimes mm -hmm. uh, go to the supermarket. Okay. I sometimes go to the supermarket. Perfect. Okay. Gio, Giovanni, are you here? So, Gio, eh, let's see. Occasionally, the percentage is 30%. It's not common. So, the example, Gio, please. I occasionally. I occasionally eat. Vietnamese. Vietnamese food. 
Okay, it's like mm, not common for me. Gio, can you tell me one activity that you occasionally do? It is a uh, mm, no sé. Ah, okay, okay. Um, imagine, imagine you that you don't like nuegados. You say, you know what, Wanda? I occasionally nuegados. It's not common. For example, mm -hmm. okay. now about you, something that you occasionally do. I see. Do. Oh, perdón. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me, Jesse. Uh, I see them go to the library. Ah, okay. So the other example says, I seldom go to the library. Library, mm -hmm. okay. So what is the difference between occasionally and seldom? Mm -hmm. Seldom is less common. Less common mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Seldom. All right, next people. Uh, rarely. So rarely, I don't even do it, right? Rarely. And the example says, Angie, I rarely, I rarely listen to the radio. Okay, maybe it's more common for you to listen to YouTube. You say, mm, I rarely use my radio. It's not common in my house, for example. And never, zero. Okay, so Jose Hernan, tell me one activity you never do. Never, never. Mm. I never play basketball. Okay, you prefer soccer, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so you say, I never play basketball. Excellent. Okay. So people, one more time. <clears throat> what is the function of frequency adverbs? What is the function? They exist. And what is the purpose? How often? Uh, always. Exactly. To show how often one activity is repeated in my life, in your life, in Emily's life, etc. Okay. Questions. I don't speak English. How do you say a veces, teacher? Sometimes. Okay. I don't speak English. How do you say uh, normalmente? Fíjate, lo hago. Normalmente lo hago. Normal. 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 Or generally. Or generally. And now the zero part is mm -mm. I zero. I never. I never. Never. Tell me one activity I let that you never do. Never. Mm. I never play soccer. Okay, nice. I like it. So let's see, uh, Marilyn, tell me one activity you sometimes do. Sometimes. <clears throat> let's see, Marilyn. Or Eric, is Eric here? I haven't seen Eric today. Eli, Eli, I'm glad to see you here. So, aha, uh -huh. Eli, one activity you sometimes do. Somebody, one volunteer. Uh, let's see, Rosy, Rosy Jovel. I sometimes listen to the radio. I sometimes listen to the radio. Good example. It's not common, but it's not real. Either. Sometimes. People, questions about frequency adverbs. Okay, no questions. Hey. Let's see. Clear? Yeah. <laughs> tell me. We're gonna we're gonna make it in English. Uh -huh, just tell me. Um how mm -hmm. no um no no which is true a structure uh -huh. which structure? for question for question um when i i use the frequency perfect i'm gonna write the question in the chat and uh, which is the structure of a question when i use a frequency advert good question okay 
and let's have the structure in a moment. Okay, uh, those are examples, but let's move to the structure because <coughs> that's a really nice question. We, I stopped sharing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, structure. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, how okay. often do you Exactly, how often? So the question we normally use is how often? I'm going to write it here on the slide. How often? How often do you? I said, yeah, do you? Exactly. Uh -huh. How often do you do you do something? Okay. For example, I wonder how often do you play soccer during imagine during the week? Okay. And I don't play. I like soccer, but I don't play soccer. So I say, okay, I uh, never play soccer during the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me another question, please, using how often. Hey, Wanda, how often? Mm -hmm. how, how often do you read? Do you read? That's a good question for William. Hey, William, how often do you read? Uh, every, mm -hmm. seria, always, al always. I always read. Perfect. I always read. But it's also possible I read every day. And I remember Lore was asking, I wonder, so every day is a frequency advert? And I say, no, but it's a frequency expression. What is the difference? Ah, okay, the frequency adverb is, the structure is subject, frequency adverb, and verb. And the frequency expressions goes to the end. Okay, good. Uh, let's see another question. Alejandra, ask a question, random question. Uh, how often mm -hmm. do you cut hair? Ah, good question. I'll say, hey, how often do you cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Let's ask this question to Jesse. Hey, Jesse, how often do you cut your hair? How often do you cut your hair? Do you? Relax. It's personal. In your case, how often do you cut your hair? Your hair. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's impossible, verdad? It's in no. positive, positive form, mm. positive, uh -huh. or negative, depending. Imagine you say, no, fíjate, Juan, de que yo nunca me lo corto. So? Sí, mm -hmm. Sería, I never, mm -hmm. I never, you, you, no, do the, you, the no, I never, I have, could, my hair. My hair, gracias, thank you. No, perfect. I never cut my hair. Imagine that is the case, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are, are in frequency, mm -hmm. in frequency, no use to be or auxiliary. Good question. It's possible to use the verb to be. <clears throat> it's possible. If you pay attention in this moment, only do, do. Because it's an action. I never play. Never play. I had read, cut. Si se fijan, estamos diciendo la acción y la estamos poniendo con la frecuencia que la hacemos. Now, eh, Georgie said, hey, is possible the verb to be? Yes, it is. Let me show that to you. Here we have some examples just to make it clear. For example, um, example number one, eh, William. Will we? Oscar, let's go with you, please. Okay, I I always mm -hmm. wake up at the seven a.m. Six a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. or six, six a.m. Excellent. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Yes. Number two, Eric, are you here? Somebody is texting. Ah, uh, Emily, no, we didn't listen to you, sweetie. Check your microphone. Okay. So Teacher, I, uh -huh. yo le estaba hablando, pero tenía apagado el <laughs> micrófono. Okay, no problem. No, no, it's okay. Uh, no you never? Number two, can you read it? William? You never change the baby diaper? You never change the baby's diaper. 
Never. My husband? No, no, he does. He doesn't. Some people, no, I don't like that. Oh, uh -huh, they never do it. Okay. So, Emily. Ah, okay, Emily. It's okay. Number three, please. Um, Sarai, Nati Sarai. He usually mm -hmm. goes to the school by bus. By bus, exactly. Hey, what is the difference in this sentence? Look at the verb. Go. Why is go? Go she. Because it's she. Simple. Wanda, it's possible the frequency adverbs for she and he? Yes, it's the same. The only need you need to respect is the, the verb in the third person. The rest is the same. Okay. Uh, continue, please. Um, Nelly? He sometimes. That's for you. That's for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody. Anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, I'm here. Ah, okay. Go ahead, Meli. Go ahead. He sometimes up loud. Up loud. Up loud. Up loud due to videos. Exactly. It's always no. Sometimes he up loud. YouTube video. Up loud. What, 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 that, what that mean? Good question. It's for example, when I have a video in my computer and I need to put the video on YouTube, up loud. Oh. And download oh. is the opposite. Uh -huh. Up loud videos, download videos. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh, Emily, can you try your microphone now? The cell phones. This one, the cell phone's alarm. Creo que no se le escucha, Emily, algo. Quizás le hace falta. Hay alguna conexión to the microphone? Can you double check? Okay, uh -huh. one volunteer. Uh, the cell phone's alarm. General this rims alarm. at six mm -hmm. sharp. Excellent. Okay, so question, why rings? It's about the cell phone, and the cell phone is not a number one, it's not a person, and it's singular. So, exactly. Uh, okay, Emily, no worries. Sometimes it happens. Don't worry. You can text. <laughs> my friends, okay, rarely come to my house. Friends is plural, the verb is normal. Okay, Nati Torrento. Next, the what? <clears throat> the mm -hmm. the mice. Somebody, one volunteer. It's okay. The mice mm -hmm. always look for food in the kitchen. Oh, okay. What is the meaning of almost always? Almost always. Hey, Wanda, that was not in the list. Okay. No, Nati, no, Nati Torrento, we don't listen to you. Quizá le está pasando lo mismo que a Emily with the microphone. Okay, people. Casi oh, siempre. Casi siempre, almost always. So what is the opposite of almost always? Almost never. Almost, almost never. never. Exactly. So what is the meaning of almost? You say, ah. Oh. Uh -huh. Almost always look, almost never sit. What uh -huh. is difference? A good observation. Good question. So look for in this context, uh, it's similar to say a uh, busca. The minds almost always look for food. Busca. It's it's a phrasal verb. Okay. But in this case, see it's um, exactly the action to, you know, I don't see my mom for a long time. I need my mom. But here is like, hmm, Wanda is looking for information. Okay, look for. It's a, it's a complete verb with verb and preposition. Now, just let me ask something to, to everybody. People, do you remember what is the difference between um, a look, watch, and see?
Somebody knows the difference between look, what, look. and see. Uh -huh. what? Mira. Sí. Yes, yes. Sí. Look is saying a search. Ah, look for is same as search. Good. Look for it's equal to search. Investigate. Look for complete, but only look is different. Okay. okay. Good question. So look people can be with some prepositions. For example, look at, and look at is uh, focus on one specific point. For example, imagine you are walking on the street. How do you say amor platonico? In the chat, somebody was asking how to say that. Crush. <laughs> crush. So you are on the street and you look at your crush and you look at him, but he's ignoring you, right? But you look at him. You mm -hmm. focus on your crush. Okay. <laughs> look at, focus. Okay. Look for, search, uh, investigate, let's say. Different. Watch people. What is watch? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ver, observar. Ajá. For a long period of time. For example, people, when you watch a movie, the movie will never be five minutes. The movie is one hour, two hours, two hours and a half. So you watch the movie, observing something for a long period of time. Okay. For serious. You watch serious. You watch the soccer match, the basketball match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, see, it's like a brief, brief uh, moment. For example, it's an expression. For example, imagine you are on the street. You are walking and then you see Alejandra. Hey, Ale, hello, bye. You see Ale. You were not looking at Ale. You were not watching at Ale like stalking, no, you just see Ale and say goodbye. Is it clear what's the difference? Teacher, mm -hmm. and sería correcto decir, I, I look at yesterday or I saw yesterday? Ah, good. I, I would like to say, I saw you yesterday. I saw you yesterday. ¿Por qué preferimos usar soy you? Porque el look at es como que te enfocaste en, en esa persona. Yeah. Pero digamos, si yo te quiero decir, fíjate que ayer te vi en Plaza Mundo. I saw you yesterday. Dice, ah, oh, really, where? In Plaza Mundo. Oh, I didn't see you. So, sí. Mm -hmm. okay. So, the three actions are with your eyes. The difference is the situation. Okay. And look for, that's buscar, that's search, investigate. Good questions. Any other question? Okay, so frequency adverbs. Now, listen, we have one more example and we have the frequency adverb with the verb to be, okay? For example, uh, my sister always comes early. Normal, comes early. But the example with the verb to be people? My sister is always ready. Early. early. Mm -hmm. Hey, what early. is the difference? Always come. Position, the verb. Exactly. The position of the verb is different. If you use the verb to be, the verb to the, the structure is subject, verb to be, and frequency adverb. Okay. But if you use other, other verbs, the position is subject, frequency adverb, and the verb. Okay. That is forever. That is that is the order of a sentence. We have other example. Oscar, can you read? You never. You never look angry. Mm -hmm. Versus. You are never angry. You are never angry. What is the difference? The position. A one that look in this context. I don't understand. Mm. In that context is. Your appearance. You never look angry. You say, oh, no, no, I'm really happy. Okay. 
this is not looked for, investigate, this is not looked at, it's just your reflection, your appearance, okay? And you are never angry, so this is the verb to be. One more time, if you guys have the verb to be, and if you want to use a frequency adverb, the verb to be is first and then the adverb, okay? But if you have other, other verbs, no problem. First is the adverb and then whatever other verb, okay? Questions before moving to the evaluation? Tomorrow, we are gonna practice this one more time. Don't worry, okay? But if you have questions, ask me now. No questions at the moment? No. No. Okay, thank you, thank you. We're gonna practice that tomorrow, don't worry. Tomorrow exercises, exercises, because it's the best way to, to get a topic, right? So now we're gonna get ready for the presentations, okay? I guess not all the group is going to pass today, but maybe one, group number of people today and the other tomorrow, the other ones tomorrow. Do I have volunteers for today, people? For the, the exam, any volunteers? Teacher, una pregunta, yo estaba viendo que ella puso las parejas. Ah, sí, Pero sí. Yo no, yo no me di cuenta la hora que los pusieron. No sé. No worries. Vaya, tranquila. De hecho, las parejas solo eran para que ustedes tuvieran, porque uno decían, hey, es mi compañero, tal y tal es mi compañero, porque como casi no, ¿verdad? No, no lo vemos ahí con el nombre completo. Sí, es Lorena, ¿verdad? Ah, Lore, sí, quien acaba de hablar. La... Sí, es que ayer pregunté por ella y todavía ahorita en el chat, Lorena is here, y no contestó. No sé qué puso. No veo el chat. It happens, no problem. Vaya, entonces ahorita les voy a dar a todos, five minutes, five minutes. Traten de, de ponerse ahí de acuerdo con la persona que van a practicarlo. Al momento del examen, encendemos las cámaras, así que si andan pijamitas, pónganse una camisa, porque si sí, vean, necesito evaluarlo. Vamos a pasar quizás unos 10 ahora y los demás mañana. Así que, five minutes, ahí por el chat, vean, vean a su compañero, quién es, vean, ahí para darse ánimos, and let's start. Okay. Emily, in your case, tomorrow. No worries. Mm -hmm. Porque, ah, Teacher, eh, mi caso será que podría pasar mañana. Porque es que siempre como a las 9 y 15 me tengo que ir, entonces por eso. Okay, but, Sigo but, escuchando but, la clase, pero desde el entiendo, my phone. Entiendo. Va, entonces, sí, yo creo que había un par de voluntarios para hoy que ya me habían dicho. Eh, les voy a dar igual five minutes, get ready. Entonces comenzamos the presentations at 9.16, mm -hmm. 9.17, yeah? So now get ready with your friends and the rest let's pass tomorrow. It's okay. Let me see the chat is. Ah, okay, Jesse, it's ready. So Jesse, your partner is uh, Mayra. Okay, Jesse and Mayra, cameras on, action. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. What's your name? My name is Yesenia. Nice to meet you, Yesenia. And your name? My name is Mayra. Nice to meet you, you Mayra. Where do you live, Yesenia? I live in Imsoyapango. Oh, great. Where do you live in, Mayra? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Excellent. You do study English? Yes, I do. Why do you study English? I study English because I want to work as a trailer in the travel. Wow, good. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to music in English for practice my vocabulary. Excellent, Yesenia. What Kim Oz movie do you watch? I watch action in scary movie. Good. 
do you like dance? Yes, I do. I love dancing. Who do you dance with? I dance with my dad. Ah, well, see you tomorrow, Mayra. See you tomorrow, Jesse. Bye bye. bye. One applause. Good job. Really good job. Thank you, girls. Good job. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay. This is the first partner. Uh, two other volunteers, people. No volunteers. Okay, so let me check the, the, the partners that we have in the chat. Dun, 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 dun. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, Evelyn and Jose. Do you want to try, guys? Evelyn and Jose Hernan. Okay, Jose, you, you have your microphone on, okay. Evelyn, are you here, sweetie? Yes, Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, ready? Chun, 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 chun. Good morning, Jose. How are you? Good morning, Evelyn. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. And you? How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, thanks. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm pretty listen. good. Ah, oh. mm -hmm. Where do you live, Jose? Uh, I'm live in Cuscatancingo. Mm -hmm. And you? I live in San Salvador. What kind of movie do you watch? Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of movies do you watch? Casi, no sé si es mi audio, perdón, pero casi no escucho. No quizás, sé si todos escuchan. Sí, quizás es su audio. Ajá, sí, yo sí lo escucho. Si quieres, repita, please. Eh, Evelyn, maybe. Es que a veces la conexión falla. What kind of movies do you watch, José? Eh, I watch... Horror, horror movie. Good. Mm -hmm. I love the horror movie. Mm -hmm. I say I love horror movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good, right? What, what do you study English, Jose? I study in English uh, because uh, I want um, a joy. Um, Joe. What color is your car? <laughs> My car is uh, color gray. Gray color, gray color. Gray color, mm -hmm. And who do Shakira fight with? I'm sorry. Who do Shakira fight with? Who does Shakira? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. The question is like, who is the enemy of Shakira? Who does Shakira fight with? Okay, don't worry. You can ask other question, Evelyn. Uh, <laughs> Shakira, Shakira fight on your husband, on your new parent husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Quiero ver. Why do you think about El Salvador? What do you think about um, El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Good question. 
Mm. I think El Salvador is uh, the country very good. <laughs> no sé. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, and right now it's a uh, very security. Mm -hmm. One more question and we can finish. It's fine. Jose can ask you a question or you can ask a question. Mm -hmm. Um. What kind, uh, what kind of uh, listening music? What kind uh, music? No, say. What, what kind, kind of, of music? I bet. Relax. What kind of music do you? Mm -hmm. I love. What rock. kind of music do you listen? Mm -hmm. I love rock music and folk music and Taylor Swift sometimes. Nice. Okay, and you guys finished. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job. Okay, great. Alejandra, are you ready with your partner? Alejandra and Jova. Giovanni, are you here? Teacher. Yes. Uh, yes. Now yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You were working on your phone. Sorry, teacher. So, uh, okay, ready? Okay, one, two, and three. Mm. Giovanni, Giovanni, are you here? <laughs> Jova, Jova. Maybe he's not here. Let me check. He was here two minutes ago. Mm. Hello. <laughs> hey, Hello. Uh, okay. Okay, one, ready? Remember normal conversation, okay? You can ask different questions. One, two, and three. Okay. Hello. My name is Joa. What is your name? Hello, uh, Giovanni. My name is Alejandra. And what's your name? It's uh, my it's name is a Joa. It's a Rivas. Uh, Nice to meet you, Giovanni. And where do you live? I live in Santana. Santa Good. Ah, okay, that's great. And uh, where do you go on Sundays? <clears throat> Excuse me? Where? Do you go on Sunday? Where do you go? Go on Sundays. Go. Where? Go on Sunday. Sunday means domingo and go. And donde vas? Where do you go? I go to. I I Sunday is good. Is the work for the job? Work, it's okay. You work on Sunday. The work. Okay, okay. Uh, for the work. You can ask okay. questions to Ale, eh, Jova. Okay. The question. I where I like where to put me. Okay. Um, you can ask like where do you live? Where do you study? Where do you play? Different questions. Mm -hmm. Where do you play is uh Sunday? Mm -hmm. 
Where do you play on Sundays? Okay. On Sunday? Uh, I sometimes play basketball with my husband. Good. Um, uh, you can ask another question, you or Alan. It's okay. Um, how often do you study the English? How often? Okay. Yeah. The question is how often? How often do you study? How often, mm -hmm. how often do you study the English? I study English every day. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. And why? No. Eh, who do you practice English with? Good question. Excuse me. Uh, repeat the question, please. Repeat, repeat, please. Who do you practice English with? Good. I practice English is a very day. With, with what, whom, with? A person specifically, Alejandra says, who do you practice English with, with a person? You can say with my mother, my father. Um, I practice English. Mm -hmm. I practice English. My, my sister? With my, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you no, what's king of series? What series do you watch on Netflix? Uh, what series do I watch on Netflix? Uh, I like the romantic series. Oh, the romantic series. And when is your birthday? When is your birthday, um, William? I'm sorry, uh, Joe? Mm. Your birthday. Happy birthday. When your birthday? birthday. Mm -hmm. Ah, my birthday. Mm -hmm. I am. My birthday, my birthday is 11th January. Okay. I guess we can finish in here. Hey, good job, guys. Really good job. Thank okay. you, teacher. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you so teacher. much. Okay, I need two teacher. more volunteers. Teacher, oh. is the, is the um, no problem is they are um, random question. No, no problem. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ready? Um, mi compañera, no sé si también se encuentra aquí, eh, Roxana Mejía. Roxy, are you here? Sí, no, yo, teacher. Okay, nice. Ah, okay. Okay. Roxy, okay. let me check. Entonces, yo empiezo. Entonces, okay, this, uh, Roxy what? can pass tomorrow. Okay, let's go. What is your name? My name is Roxana Mejia. Where do you like? I like in El Salvador. Who like with you? I like with my husband and my children. What time, what time do you wake up in the morning? I always, always mm -hmm. wake at 6 a.m. Who do you watch movies with on weekends? I watch movies with my family. Okay. Perfect. Roxy, if you want to ask questions. Where do you, where do you live? Mm -hmm. I live in San Salvador, soy a pango. Mm -hmm. We do, do a tour English. Because um, I need a job. Who mm -hmm. do you practice English with? I practice English with my twin sister or along with the mirror. <laughs> How do you say antibiotico in English? It's called antibiotic. Yeah. 
What is your dream job? My dream job is to work in a call center. Y esas serían las preguntas, señor. Good question. Hey, good question. Good job. Really good job, girls. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Evel, Emily, she wants, no, Emily, I'm sorry. Emily wants to pass today. Emily doesn't have a partner because eh, her partner is at the university. Do I have any volunteer to wants to ask questions to Evelyn people? To Emily, I'm sorry. From the people that has passed, it can be Alejandra, Gio, eh, Roxy, Nati. You can ask questions because she needs a partner. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so thank you. Uh, Emily, ready? Alejandra is going to ask you questions. Okay. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hey, Emily, uh, what's your, what your full name? My full name is Emily Vanessa Escobar de Ardun. Mm -hmm. hey, nice to meet you. And what do you study English? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because, because I learned other language. Ah, okay. And how Be many cars do you have? Sorry? How many cars do you have? Mm -hmm. I don't have car. Good. Ah, okay. And what kind of movie do you watch? Mm, I watch serious um no watching <laughs> movie mm -hmm. and where do you live? I live in a papa mm -hmm. and where does your sister work? Good. I don't have or a sister. Okay. Do you have brother? Yes, I have two brothers. Okay. And where does your brother work? Um, my brother work in the house with a business family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what kind of music do you like? I like music. I like pop. I like pop music. Okay, and do you practice uh, soccer or basketball? I don't practice, but I like play soccer. Sure. Okay, one more question, and we finish, Ali. Thank you. And how often do you study English? I often I study English every day. Okay, perfect. And we're finished. Good job. Really good job. Thank you, Ale. Thank you, um, Emily. Emily, I'm sorry. Good job. So um, I guess it's 932. If you guys have to go home, it's fine. And if someone wants to stay here for the evaluation, you can stay. Los que ya pasaron y los que van a pasar mañana, vea, si gustan retirarse, it's fine. Y si alguien quiere pasar ahora porque mañana no puede, nos quedamos, okay? So, but you can go, no problem, people. Thank you so much Teacher. for your attention. Yes. Uh, we want to be the next one. Mel, Francisco okay. and I. Okay, ready. Si no tienen ningún problema los que están acá, nos quedamos, pero si alguien tiene algo que hacer, está bien que se desconecte, no problem, okay? So, ready, Meli, okay. Yes? ¿Y yo voy a poder hacer preguntas o...? Eh, yo creería que mañana que esté Eric, usted se las va a hacer a él. Porque él no va a eh, es, Mañana no puedo, es que ah, sé que mañana sí. voy a, a otro departamento, ajá, entonces por eso. No, es ok, entonces si gusta, si no tiene ahorita alguna cosa, quédese y no, puede no. hacer cuatro. Okay. Los demás okay. chicos, if you have to go, it's okay. Ok, thank you so much for your attention. And, tomorrow. Sí, yeah, see you tomorrow for the evaluation. Thank you. Ok. Thank you so much. Bye, see you later. Bye, see you, take care. 
Yes, bye, I'm sorry. Bye. bye, bye, teacher. Bye, see you. Bye, take care. So, bye, teacher. Bye, princess. Good job. So, nice <laughs> what can I say? Thank you, Meli, Francisco, and um, okay, Meli. Okay, so ready. Okay, yes. Ash. Yes. Okay, go. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Francisco. Uh, I'm fine. I'm really good. I am very happy to hear. Thank you. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you know something about Messi? For example, where does he play soccer? He does play soccer in Barcelona, in Argentina. Uh, Interesting. What kind of movies do you watch? I watch horror and romantic movie. What about your family? Where does your brother work? Interesting. Yeah. Where where does your brother work? My bro brother and Bershka. Oh. And uh, did you study English? Uh, yeah, I study English because I want to learn the idiom. Mm -hmm. okay. And and who do you practice English with? I do practice English with my brother. Oh. And where do you go? I usually go to eat ice cream and do exercise. And what about you? Uh, who do you usually call by phone? Uh, I do usually call my by phone with my girlfriend. Sorry, you can repeat the question? Um, you can repeat the question, please? Yes, but... Um, how do you say... Antibiotic in English. In English, you say antibiotic. And how do you spell aspirin? How do you spell? A is P, no. A is P, I, R, I, I, Okay, nice, nice. I guess that's okay. Good job. I got it. I have I have taken notes about some questions from you and, and answers. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. So before moving, before disconnecting the call, Emily, can you please ask two questions for Ale and two questions for uh, Frank, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank? Mm -hmm. uh, do you like read? Mm -hmm. Good. Do you like to read? Frank? For who did you hear? Oh, the question is for Frank, I guess. Frank, Francisco, do you like Excuse to me? read? <laughs> do you like to read? Repeat, please. None of that question. Do you like to read? I like to read. What is? Read. When read. you have a book and you read.
For example, Harry Potter books and you read. Do you like to read? I like to... The Rich Man of Babylon. I'm sorry? I like your book, The Rich Man of Babylon. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, another question for Frank, please. Uh, what is your favorite place in El Salvador? Excuse me? What is your favorite place in El Salvador? Are you favorite place? <clears throat> Los planes de renderos, el Tunco Beach. What is your favorite um, The Boker. Okay. El boquero. Okay. So, uh, Emily, two questions for Melly, and we finished. Okay. Uh, Melly, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is um, Chinese food. Good. Wow. Uh, what? Why? Why do you practice English with who? Uh, why or who? 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 Sorry. Who do you who do you practice English with? Good. I I practice English with my boyfriend. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And I guess we finished. Good job, girls. Good job, Frank. Thank you so much. And first, God, see you tomorrow. So relax. I guess Georgie is, is here. Georgie, vamos a ver lo de la, la asistencia. So good job, Melly. Good Thank job, you. Emily. Thank and you. Frank, Bye, take care. Bye, take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. First, God. Georgie está por Bye, aquí. Teacher. Bye, see you. <coughs> Georgie. Yes, yes. May, ahorita Bye. vamos a, a ver. Le voy a comentar. Yeah. Y me dice si alguno de estos días eh, capaz y, y no le hemos puesto la asistencia para corregirla, pero... Quiero ver esto aquí. Ahorita. Vaya, George. Yo creo que ahora va a mandar eh, esta chica también actualizada. Vaya, George. La tengo por aquí. Maldonado Carla Georgina 56. Vaya. Eh, déjeme. Vamos a ir viendo. Empieza desde el 16. Para que llevemos la cuenta. 16, 19. Porque fue fin de semana. 19. Vaya, entonces vamos a ver. Acá tengo que, vaya, tiene una falta a partir del día, y eso voy a revisar ahorita, del día 21. Si usted se acuerda o algo, y si acaso no, pues ya lo vamos a revisar todas las faltas. El día 21 es una. Luego aparece que tiene una falta el día 22. Quiero ver aquí. Uh, 23, perdón, porque el 22 fue día del maestro, 23. De ahí vamos bien, sin falta, sin falta, acá. Y hay otra falta en la fecha 30. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es irme a los reportes de Zoom. Si usted me dice, no, pero mire, ese día yo no me acuerdo haber faltado. Así lo, lo voy a revisar. Porque como es el Zoom nos tira un montón de datos de un solo y uno los tiene que ir cuadrando. Vea, no vaya a ser que yo me haya confundido. Entonces ya vamos a ver. Sí, es lo que uh -huh. yo le preguntaba la vez pasada a usted. Que, ¿Qué sucede cuando Zoom nos saca? Fíjese que cuando nos saca uh -huh. eh, y cuál reporte es el que cuenta, si desde el primero uh -huh. o, o de la última conexión. O, pero usted me dijo de que se van sumando uh -huh. como las conexiones. Es correcto. Vaya, por ejemplo, ahorita que Emily se salió, cuando saque el reporte, después de que finalice la llamada, me va a tirar que Emily tiene dos conexiones, probablemente una que le duró la hora y algo y la otra 20 minutos, ¿verdad? así me lo saca. Pero lo que voy a hacer, si quiere, si quiere, le voy a mandar los reportes uno por uno como los tengo, para que, porque ahí aparecen todos, ¿verdad? pero voy a enfocarme en el suyo para que veamos. Y si de repente usted me dice, mire Wanda, pero revisemos este, mejor revisemos uno por uno, porque ajá, no, no vaya a ser, vea, de que de que alguna conexión no se la haya puesto y por eso le está afectando. Si quiere, hagamos así. Le voy a mandar ahorita todo sí, lo que uh -huh. La vez pasada, ah, cuando hablamos eso, bah, yo le decía, yo le había pedido permiso por, 
por dos días, sí. porque le comenté que había estado enferma. Va, por lo menos ayer lo mismo, le mandé mensaje porque estuve en la reunión de, de, de la escuela de mi sobrino uh -huh. y ya, o sea, ya me conecté como un cuarto a sí. las nueve. Ajá, me salen que se conectó 45 minutos. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, o sea, eh, por, por eso le decía, de, de, este, de estos dos días, sí, sí, me acuerdo porque son las que le dije. Sí, cabal. Y fue cuando usted me dijo lo, lo, de, lo de los videos y uh -huh. así. Vale, entonces vamos a revisar. Si quiere, tome nota, tome nota. Vamos a revisar el día 30 porque tiene una falta ahí. Vamos a revisar el 30. Vamos a revisar. Vamos a revisar el día 30. ¿Dónde está? Sí, porque cuando me preguntaron. Eh, de, de la academia, ¿verdad? Este, me dijeron que iban a revisar y, y de que cuando se enviara el reporte ya iban a aparecer. Por eso es que ahorita me quedé así. Por, por eso le decía como que no, no. Ajá, ya voy a ver entonces. ¿vale? Entonces, póngame por eso el día 21 para revisar. El día 23. ¿ya? Luego nos vamos a ir para el día... El 30, me dijo. Eh, sí, el 30. Y ya después creo que ya no tiene ninguna falta. Le voy a revisar esos cuatro días, Jordi, ahorita me da solo que tengo que, que, que cancelar esta para poder abrir los otros reportes. Y, y si quiere le escribo en un ratito, o me escribe usted, vea, para ver, porque, ajá, no, no vaya a ser de que yo no le haya puesto, sabe qué es lo que, pero usted siempre le pone su nombre, vea, siempre Georgina Maldonado, porque a veces hay unos que entran y me salen como admin, entonces yo tengo que estar viendo, adivinando quién es el admin, vea, pero en su No, caso, pero sí, ¿no? sí. Este, vale. porque eh, como yo ya tenía una cuenta con Zoom, Ajá, entonces usted nos había dicho de que teníamos que poner sí. primero apellidos, sí. Maldonado, en mi caso Maldonado Tobar y nombre completo, sí, correcto. pero o sea, después, o sea, como, como yo en las, cada vez en cada reunión o cosas así que, que ocupaba la cuenta, bueno, siempre lo tenía registrado, Ajá, Regina Maldonado, entonces hubo un momento donde todos los días al estar entrando tenía que estar sí. poniendo el nombre, sí, entonces sí. Dije, no, al final así lo dejo, se entiende sí. pues a la larga porque sí. no, no tenemos nombres repetidos todos sí, los compañeros. Correcto. Sí, es correcto. Va, entonces voy a hacer eso. Mándenme por favorita al WhatsApp las fechas que hay que revisar porque voy a cerrar este y que se guarde la reunión. No voy a hacer que se me borre para descargar el reporte de esos días y volver a, a verificar y vemos ahí qué pasó. Uy, porque pasa el punto que nos afectarlos tampoco. No, pues sí, ajá, usted me había dicho más o menos eso. Entonces hagamos así si quiere, Jordi, mándenme las fechas ahorita y se la, solo se guarde esta reunión que se tarda un poquito en guardarse, pero después yo, yo le reviso. <ríe> El ítem es un poquito malo. Pero sí, así no, que no, como yo... No, es que me, que, que, me, que me haya equivocado en anotar. Me dijo 21. Sí. Pero, ay, 21, 28, 30, creo que me dijo. Sí, <ríe> espéreme, Jordi, espéreme, ahorita voy, ahorita voy. No, es que yo también... Quiero ver, que mire que los números no son ni fuertes, no vaya a ser que yo me haya comido uno. <risa> yo, Gina Maldonado, aquí está. Sí, ajá, el 21, el 23. Ah, 23 era. Ajá. ajá. El 30. Ajá, ah, pues son tres. Sí, por fin, ya se los vamos a revisar ahí a ver qué pasa. Oye, gracias, Jordi, ahí disculpe, vamos a ver, ojalá primero Dios de que no le, no le esté afectando por errorcito nuestro y que logre, pues, al final el porcentaje requerido. Oye, para que continuemos. Sí. No, por eso, por eso le preguntaba yo que si al final si no se logra el porcentaje, ¿qué era lo que sucedía? Sí, sí, pero fíjese que se toma en cuenta todo, participación, nota, actitud y pues la, la asistencia, ¿verdad? Y pues usted no de mapa va muy bien, así que, thank you. Y ya voy a revisar, oye, para, para, no voy a hacer que me haya equivocado en algo. Oye. Entonces mañana pasaríamos, ¿verdad? Sí, mañana pasa, no se preocupe. Uh -huh. Okay, thank bueno. you, thank you guys, see you tomorrow, take care. Take care. <ríe> ah, hola, hola, diga. Y si no tenemos con quién pasar, ¿usted nos va a poner a alguien ahí? Sí, si acaso se quedaron solitos, ajá. vamos a como ahora, ¿ve? aquí Alejandra estuvo dándoles a alguien que ya pasó, vea. Uh -huh. Así ahí. Ah, bye. Sí, no worries. Thank you, girls and boys. See you tomorrow. Take Adiós. care. Bye, cuídense. Bye, bye. Bye.